So I just wanted to take a few minutes before we begin the project to discuss the difference between vector and raster graphics. These are the two most common file types that you're going to encounter when working with graphics in any kind of editing software. Now vector graphics are composed of points that are connected by lines and curves on a geometric plane. In our two examples here, the object on the top is actually a vector version of the turtle. If I go to my node editor and click on one of these parts, we can actually see the individual points or nodes here, and then we can see the lines that connect them. And so the other kind of graphic is um, called raster graphics. Sometimes people call them pixel based graphics. And so our object here on the bottom is a raster graphic and it looks very similar to um, our vector graphic except the raster graphic is composed of pixels, individual dots um, that represent different colors that um, are arranged together to create the image for us. And so in Inkscape, there's a couple of ways that we can look at the differences between these. One is to just go to our magnifier and zoom in. So as we zoom in closer and closer, you're going to begin to be able to see the pixels here for our raster graphic, whereas the vector um, object is still very nice and smooth. And that's because as we zoom in, or if we expanded or resized these graphics, we would see with the vector graphic that because it's using geometric lines to compose its shape, those are just reconfigured you know, to the new size, and so you don't lose any quality. Whereas with raster graphics, you have to create new pixels, and oftentimes the computer when it generates those will end up generating these kinds of blurry edges that you see oftentimes when people try to enlarge a raster graphic like an image or a bitmap file or something like that. And so the other way that we can see the difference between these is if we go up to the view menu and we go to display mode and we go to outline we can see again here are the nice lines, the paths that form our vector graphic and Inkscape can't see anything that it can show us for the raster graphic so we just get a big red X and that's because there aren't any outlines that it can see for this and so this is a very important point because one of the reasons that we can use vector graphics when we are creating for um, vinyl or desktop cutting or laser cutting or CNC is that we need paths, right? We need something to tell the machine where to cut out the shape. And so we need to have lines that we can identify as the paths um, to, to cut out the shape and the material that you're using. And so tools like laser cutters and CNC machines can see a um, raster shape. However, all it can do is engrave this onto the material so it can't actually use it for cutting. And so if you want to cut out a shape in your material on almost any kind of digital fabrication tool, you're going to need a vector um, path to use to identify where to cut out in the material. And so this is just kind of a ended up being a little bit more of a overview than I plan to give but hopefully this is helpful to you as we design in Inkscape and as you begin to plan for the kinds of digital fabrication projects that you might want to make.